with that, I want to introduce you to Exacaster. The, are you the CEO? Yes, I am. The CEO, Sharunas, is going to tell us about Exacaster, which is an automated machine learning, machine learning based customer behavior prediction cloud service for telecoms, retailers, and other consumer companies. Sharunas. Thank you. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Sharunas from Lithuania. Some say it's the country of most beautiful women on earth. Well, uh, we know that it's a country that gave you Getjar, so I'm from that place. So Exacaster uh, is not exactly next generation internet, it's more next generation telco and retail, but we're actually taking the internet ideas and bringing to more traditional industries. So if you look at, the, there are, at these companies, second and third tier telecoms and smaller retailers, they're actually sitting on petabytes of consumer behavior data, just as internet companies do. Yet customer acquisition, uh, revenue increase, or loyalty in these companies remain quite inefficient uh, activities. Many companies have a data warehouse and an analyst looking at the data once or twice a day and uh, think that's all that they can do. That would be the same as having Google search being powered by pigeons. It only works on the April Fool's Day. So if you are one of those unlucky few smaller companies, of which there are 200 telcos in the world and more than uh, several thousand retailers, you have no quick and affordable solution inside. You actually have to buy expensive platforms, hire consultants, and try to find where the state of the art is. Now, I was working for such a company myself, and I got sick and tired of looking at Excel for the entire year. I was trying to find customers who have unusual behavior patterns and understand what is going on in my customer base. I did find it, and I thought there must be a better way. So now we have Exacaster. Exacaster is a marketer's dream. So you point your data stream of consumer's behavior into our platform, and you enjoy a 50% increase in upsell and a 20% reduction in churn, which are some of the key applications that we're uh, using right now. For example, for customer acquisition too, you can see which campaigns to run, where and when, for revenue stimulation, which offers will work better and who would buy, for retention, who will leave, like down to the names, and what is the likely retention impact of your campaigns that you're doing. If you are a retailer, you apply the same concepts when you have a loyalty program, you're working just like a telco. So we have right now uh, customers such as Careful Mobile in Belgium, Tele2, which is a discounter in the Scandinavian region, Net1, a broadband provider, a regional carrier in, in the US has just signed a contract with us, and Cherry, which is an online uh, daily deals uh, company in the Central Europe. A powerful engine that we have built uh, hides behind a single button, and that is, I think, our uh, main difference for many companies who are doing big data. Because having the basic infrastructure is uh, not enough. It is very necessary to move where you need to be, but that's just the start. Most of the value comes when you get so close to the business that it becomes a single button. And it works like this. So you pick a business metric among all of the thousands that exist in your business and move to where you would like it to be. So in this case, we have the number of customers who are inactive, and I would like to reduce that number. Exacaster recommends which offers you have to run, towards which target groups, and what response you will get. Furthermore, once you do that, Exacaster tracks response of each customer and learns what will their behavior uh, do, what they will do in the future. And uh, if you are a retailer, for example, by having a platform such as this monitor all your data, you find amazing applications. What happens if you log your competitors' campaigns in the same way? Now you see where they cause you damage. What happens if you log your uh, product layout changes? Now you see what happened. And we use such historical information then to help you move uh, in the future and say, I want to achieve this, then you have to do something like that. What are our advantages? We're better, cheaper, and more automated than anything that you can build in-house. Careful Mobile or Tele2 prefer us because it works well. It comes with lots of specific industry know-how, no need for PhDs or statisticians. There's, you won't find a statistical number anywhere near. And we also unfairly benefit from the fact that we're based in Eastern Europe. Uh, we have deep understanding of the target markets, and we are also uh, funding our R&D from European Union grants. Our go-to-market strategy is twofold. We started with our own sales team 
and signed up nine telcos so far. We are now partnering with established suppliers such as Cognitel in the UK, Effortel in Belgium, Telina in Netherlands, Smarter Mobile in the US, who can help our, us go to market faster. Uh, our pricing is very simple. It is a pay-as-you-grow uh, cloud service per month, which depends on the number of subscribers that you have, from $3,000 to $8,000 and upwards uh, a month. We're also seeing that we can benefit a lot from uh, becoming like a gateway for data enrichment providers. For example, if you add weather forecast data to the internal data, you start finding unusual patterns that some campaigns work better on a rainy day. And that is just the beginning. Our sales and financials, so we expect to have $1.4 million in sales next year and uh, become profitable uh, sometime late in 2013. So four things to remember about Exacaster. Our clients report 50% increase in upsell and 20% reduction in churn. Having proven it with telcos, we're now going for online and offline retail and daily deals. We're replacing wishful thinking in marketing with something can, which can be called machine augmented thinking. We're predicting 4 million subscribers today, uh, and we're ready for the next 400 million. Thank you very much. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. Well, now we have uh, four minutes in which I want to have our, our distinguished panel here ask some questions of Sarunas about, about the business and, and to clarify the, the business model further. Yeah. So what's the setup like? That's the biggest thing. Uh, what do you mean by setup? When they integrate in, how do you mark all the instances? How much time does a setup for each telco take and maintain? Yeah, so b basically the key challenge that we have is how to get the, the detailed data out from the company and into the cloud. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is something, w when we show our product to marketing, they love it. Uh -huh. And then we have a three to six month struggle with the IT department exactly. to actually get the data out. So that's a fact of life and we're living with it. So the sales cycle, uh, the, the sale decision itself is usually quite fast and then the implementation takes several months. Uh, ideally, what we're doing with the partners, uh, we're pre-integrating with existing systems, so then we can sell much, much faster. So for example, right now we're talking with a billing provider uh, based in Denmark who has 45 customers. So we do the integration once, and then uh, we, we get uh, much, much more customers. So that, that, it is a challenge, but what we think is happening is when we move the data to the cloud, they, they're, they're basically stuck there. So if you want to move your data after we have tracked all of the campaigns and historical impacts and enriched your data, well, that, that's a tough thing to do. You basically cannot migrate away from the platform without losing all the valuable information. Uh, so I think it's a, uh, I like what you're doing because it is an existing market and people will pay for it. Uh, it's very monetizable. Uh, I guess the good news and bad news is predictive analytics for analytics for telecom has been around a long time. Yes. Uh, there's money to be made with just small changes in loyalty yeah. or retention or churn. Uh, so since you're new at it, I guess you still have to prove that you're doing it better than everybody else. Mm -hmm. And so I guess that's the downside. Yeah. Uh, have you tried it with anything other than telecom today? Because that's in the rest of the industry, yeah. people are doing it themselves, yeah. Yeah. especially startups like online dating or music sites or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so right, right, first, I guess first question, yeah. do you know that it works? Uh, yes, it does. Yeah, I know that it works. So that's the, the, the startup is now 18 months old. And the reason why it took us so long, we wanted to be dead sure uh, that what we're doing is actually producing good results for the, for the customers. And most of them uh, wouldn't even consider if it, if it didn't work. And we were very lucky that our first customer was a very huge fan of what we were doing and really supported us with like ideas and, and so on, how we can improve it further. And now we come to the point where we, we're, we have basically telcos fighting over us and asking for exclusivity and not going to the competitor, which is a nice problem to have. But, uh, so that's, that's on the part of does it work. On the part of have we tried on, on, on anything else? So yes, we, do ha we, we have tried in cable, for example, which is kind of telco. We have tried it in energy, which is a completely different vertical, and I haven't talked about it here. When you say and, energy, do you mean utilities? Uh, or uh, yeah, mean? utilities. Which okay. they, they ha some of the traders have a problem to predict how much electricity will be consumed, and it's not so tri oh. trivial. But uh, these are slow markets. So we, we mm -hmm. added retail because we believe it's a much bigger market than telco. There are several hundred telcos in the world which we can access. 
-hmm. And uh, all the big ones have installed some kind of systems. As you were saying a long time ago, all the small ones, they, they cannot afford half a million or a million dollar CapEx solution, which takes years to deploy. So that's, the, that's why we think the model works very well, because it's a cloud-based, very low risk for them to try, and the upside is very huge. And uh, for retail, we are starting to work with the daily deals company uh, right now in the Central and Eastern Europe. And we looked at all of the data and everything yeah, I mean, that's available. Different. We see all the symptoms are there. So, But it's not a subscription-based business, right? So it's very uh, different. Yeah, but you still have recurring purchases. You yeah. still have customer bases, and you still have marketing, which is doing campaigns. So it's essentially the same. Okay, great. Yeah, sorry. Well, we're out of time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Let's give a big round to Exacaster. Great. Thanks. So